the Chateau de Merac is one of the most historic chateaux of the region of Occitanie, and on top of that, it is a winery. Part of this private chateau dates back to the 12th century and has had several renovations, including the addition of a beautiful pigeon house. Wines have been produced from vineyards around the chateau for at least 400 years. The present owners of the chateau, Duncan Geddes and his family, cultivate white and red grapes without using chemicals or pesticides to make Gaillac wines. We are a biodynamic uh, vineyard farm. We're actually the first certified biodynamic vineyard in Gaillac since uh, 99. Some of the wines are aged in an old cellar in pre-used oak barrels for a year. The idea is to keep the fruit flavours more than the oak flavour to the wine and just make it easy to drink. Easy to drink wines are my kind of wines. I am tempted by the red. This is a blend of 70% Duras and 30% Syrah, or Shiraz, as you might say. And the Duras, a local grape which has that peppery, white pepper flavors, slightly spicy. And the Syrah brings this fruit, fruitness to the wine. It's a very lovely wine. Really like it. There are more wine to taste and I'm glad I'm staying overnight in the B&B on the top floor of the chateau. The stunning nearby city of Albi, hometown of the famous French artist Toulouse-Lautrec, is the place to discover the regional specialties. A visit to the Cavern Market is fruitful. One of the great specialties of the region is la sauce, the Toulouse that people grill but also cook in cassoulet. And then there is uh, the boudin, which is the pig's head cooked slowly and binded together with some, some blood. And then this is really interesting, the confit of everything that is pork from the heart to the tongue to the kidneys cooked slowly in pork fat and a special sausage made with pork, with rice, with eggs and also with bread. And it tastes good. Le croquant de corde is a biscuit specialty from a nearby village. It's made of almonds, egg whites, a little flour, a little sugar. It is crunchy, it is croquant. Tomorrow we arrive in the very beautiful village of Le Puy-en-Velay to meet a great chef. <laughs>